Welcome to your instructional video on how to use the Trello board to start your onboarding process. There are so many items, um, tasks, forms to complete when it comes to onboarding. So this is a way that helps me to see what you've completed, also helps you to know what you've completed, and we're going to do a little section at a time. So right now, I only have these three lists. This is called a list. So one, two, three, and these are called cards. One, two, these are called cards. These are cards that are on here. So anyway, we'll talk more about that in a second. Right now, there are only three, three sections as we move forward in the days to come there will be more list for you to complete so we'll start simple and you can start working through some of these items in fact some of these items you maybe have already completed so when you have completed a card you will move it to the done section so looking through here most of you have completed the background check and right here it says upload the form to box and this is I you're going to learn how to use box in just a second but since you've already turned it in this way you will not have to upload it to box now but but for anyone that is hired after today they will start uploading it to box if that makes sense so anyway so if you've completed and turned in your background check You'll move this over to the done, and there's confetti to say that you're done. So say you have already come in and signed your contract with me. Um, before we move it, click on it, because there is a description that says the job is offered to applicant. The director discusses hourly wage with applicant, and a yearly contract is signed by both director and employee. Under each card is a description that um, describes more about the card. So if you've done that, what are you going to do? You're going to move it over to the done. Um, there are um, many items on this list, but again, there are more items to come. So go ahead and get started on these forms. You will get an email that's going to invite you to join Box. So here's one of your cards. It says, create a login for Box. So let's click on it. It says, you'll receive an email inviting you to join Box. Follow the instructions to create your login. Once you have completed the login process, you will notice that I have added you to your employee folder. And I've also attached a file right here that says how to upload a file to Box. And it's really simple. So again, you'll get an email. You'll say join Box, create a username, and then you will see your employee folder that will say employee folder, and then it will have your name. That is a folder that only you and I can see. But this is where you'll submit any forms that say to submit to Box. Forms will be kept on file. Observations will go here. Pretty much anything that would be kept in a filing cabinet in a manila folder with your name on it is going to go in that folder. You will find some the I-9 and W-4 form. So you'll click here. It says these are two required IRS documents. Please click each link below, fill in the information and upload it to your employee file inbox. So you'll click here. Here is, um, here is the document. You can print it, you can type on it, you'll save it um, to your computer. And then like I said, oh, here, here's an example. It will look something like this. So if you click on your name, actually that's not it, ignore that. Okay, here it is, sorry. So I'm working on making each one of your file folders. So when you click on this, it will say upload. So you can go to upload and upload and click wherever you saved it and it will upload it here. So again, only you and me can see it. 
but that is a way to organize all of that information. So again, once you are finished with a card, you will move it to the done. Some of you have already sent me a picture and blurb to the website. What you're gonna do, you're gonna move it to the done. So, I hope that this has made sense. This is all new to me, but I'm excited to use Trello this year, not only with um, in the onboarding process, but how we will submit lesson plans and turn it, share ideas. So I am here if you have any questions. Do not be afraid to ask me for help. That's what I'm here for. Thank you. Bye-bye.